Benjamin Travis, age 43, ICA handler, Gamma rank. Army professional, 1990 to 1999, served in the U.S. Marine Corps. Awarded a Bronze Star for heroic achievement, Desert Storm 1991. Dishonorable discharge, December 99, following a series of unauthorized co-ops. Jail sentence pardoned, as a result of a Type 6 ICA intervention. Enrolled February 1st, trained at Field Office 1. Quickly exceeds expectations. Fast track to recon. Psychiatric monitoring initiated. Specializes in high impact wet works operations. Demonstrates leadership and innovation, navigates and manipulates the theater of conflict. With a natural flair. Architect of numerous agency programs and initiatives. Promoted, Tetra rank, psych monitoring terminated. Chosen to replace Diana Burnwood, as handler of ICA operative, codenamed Agent 47. What's up guys? I know we love telling you this every time you've watched something, but you just got done watching the Hitman Absolution trailer. Uh, it's a new one. And uh, Zach Dewey, Tom, and myself are here. A video was like porn to my eyes. Was it really? So, Not really. Not really. Oh, but, uh, okay, well then I, I want to start it off with a bang, some excitement. <laughs> I was only like my penis, I would say. What about your penis? You cut out there, Tom. It was only like porn to my penis. Oh, okay. That's oh, well, gotcha. fair enough. I mean, that's the best kind of porn I would. No, say. no. But not, enough about porn. Let's talk about Hitman. People are here for porn. Well, I hope not. <laughs> but uh, let's see. So we've got top. We've got five things about this trailer. And the first thing that we've noticed is the level of detail. Zach, you, you're the one that pointed this out. So I'm, I'm gonna let this fall onto you. So yeah, go ahead. So you can see in this trailer his social security number, like a full dossier on this guy. And we're gonna know so much about these characters before we even play the game. It's amazing how much we know about this guy. We, he doesn't know who his father is. He has a close relationship with his mom, but not too close. We know that he was dishonorably discharged. Like, it's a ton of information just in this. So much so, so that I think it confused you, Raymond, the first time that you watched it. The, yeah, the first time I watched it, I was just like, I have no idea what this guy's significance is. Is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy? I have, I have no idea. I, I did see, like, there was a QR code somewhere in there. There are a lot of dates and numbers and stuff, so I'm guessing that if the true Hitman fans really wanted to, they could dissect this trailer a lot and pick it apart and find can, some hidden things. I wonder if you can uh, uh, scan that code. I'm assuming I'm assuming you can scan that QR code. I don't think uh, that they'd, they'd put in a QR code in a trailer if it weren't scannable, unless they just really, really want to troll people. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I mean, if you guys are really liking the Hitman trailer and you care enough to do these things you know listeners go ahead and dissect this thing all you want and let us know what you find i'm too lazy to do that uh, even though i like i like the hitman game, hitman games i think out of the four of us i'm the most excited about the hitman absolution game that's correct that right yep okay so um but yeah that's all we have for the, the detail i guess there, there was a lot of it as tom said earlier there's not really much else we can say about it uh, but another thing that we noticed was there's a comic book uh, style to this trailer, uh, which isn't really present in the other Hitman games. So we're, you know, is this just in the trailer? Is this going to be implemented in the game? Yeah, what I mean, I, I personally think? think, like, just from the, the feel of the Hitman games, I think it would be really out of place if they actually used this in the game, this kind of art style. I think it works in the trailer, but... Implementing that into, you know, the Hitman games, which generally have a more realistic feel to them than that right. art style. I don't think they should do that. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you, they had that 15-minute gameplay demo, and I think everybody who talks about this game always goes back to that gameplay demo. And, it, yeah, it doesn't seem like uh, the comic book style would really fit into that gameplay demo. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't seem like they'd be a good it, match. It's a bit too much work to put the 
level of quality that the Hitman Absolution gameplay and the cutscenes actually have in a trailer like this, because this is a series of videos that are showing the characters in the game, and they don't want to put that much effort, I don't think, into developing computer animation for these trailers. It's easier and more stylized to do the comic book art style. Agreed. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, uh, this has been a thing of contention ever since they came out with this slogan. Uh, but their slogan for this, that showed at the end of the trailer, is that this is the original assassin. Um, which is just kind of funny. Obviously, it's kind of a jab at Assassin's Creed and stuff like that. Because, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed is huge nowadays. But Hitman, you know, they were like, Hitman is the, the best because he was the first. And not everyone feels that way. He was the first, but last to get laid. That's not possible. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, I think he did. I think he did. But um, I don't know how I feel about this personally. I think it's kind of a dumb slogan. But what can I do? It's it's a marketing ploy in my eyes. Um, well, I, I mean, can't come up with an earlier assassin in gaming, but I'm sure there is one. Probably. Most likely. Yeah, I'm sure there's some NES or... John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> um, but yeah it's i don't know it's interesting slow I, I, if at the very least it'll get them some more attention i mean whether or not it's positive attention i don't know but uh yeah, you know it'll get them some attention for sure they achieved their goal we're talking about it that's <laughs> right i guess you know that's the whole point right somebody notices it curse them so Zach noticed right away pretty quickly oh, this that there's some historical elements in this trailer. Obviously, they're talking about like uh, the Gulf War, things of that nature with uh, George H. W. Bush. Zach, you 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 think that this guy looks like Saddam Hussein? I do. I think he is Saddam Hussein. So why don't you? Because I I don't. I mean, he looks similar, but I don't think that's just, that it, it is Hussein. Well, so go ahead. Okay. Well, I. I <laughs> I don't really think he's Saddam Hussein, but as I was watching it the first time, I felt like I needed to keep it inside that I could not say he looked like Saddam Hussein, because I don't know, I, maybe that's racist, but but he, like, I, I looked Saddam Hussein up just as a refresher to see what he looks like, and there is a striking resemblance. Also, I just really enjoy the fact that George H.W. Bush is in it, because he's, <laughs> just- he's a Republican. There's just that one shot of him giving the medal to him, and that you just latched onto it. It's huh? that level of detail that I love, Raymond. You know, I was surprised. I missed that the first time watching the trailer, but then when once you've mentioned his name, it's just, it was blatantly obvious that that was uh, Bush pinning the bronze star onto his uh, chest. So it, it's interesting. Like we said earlier, there is a lot of detail in this trailer, probably stuff that we didn't even pick up on. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting to start tying in those kind of things. Gives it a, a more real world feel. Yeah, and uh, at the, at the end of the trailer, it shows Agent Forty Seven shooting up the place, right before it before it goes into the CG that the game most likely will have. Uh, it has the that last bit of uh, comic book art, if you want to call it that, where he's shooting up the place, and he's got that last shot of the hole in the guy's hand. Now, I, I speculate that that is the character in the trailer. Uh, Zach, you sounded like you weren't sure. Benjamin Travis, the, the new handler, that he has yeah. a hole in his hand. Uh, yeah. Well, I just, because I just find it odd that Agent 47 is shooting a hole in his handler's hand. That, I mean, I think Absolution's kind of like he's... Hitman is not a part of his agency anymore. He's kind of on the run. So it very well could be his handler that he shot through the hand as, you know, like making a point. Like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll shoot a hole in anyone's hand. I'm going to take yeah, that. Basically. Sticking it to well, the man. I mean, it's kind of like I'm going to shoot you in the hand and then five seconds later I'm going to shoot you in the head. But it's just kind of like I want you to feel a little bit of pain before I shoot you in the head. So Do this, we this... think that the handler could handle it if his handlee shot him in the hand? <laughs> that was... Shut up, Tom. <laughs> I, think he wants, I think he wants to be shot in the other hand. <laughs> He's uh, Jesus. Maybe, maybe it's a stigmata. I was just gonna say <laughs> that, doing damn it. Oh, uh, but uh, then so, I mean, who knows? It could be somebody that just looks a lot like his handler. That I could actually be Saddam Hussein. He shot in the hand. That could be. 
That's that's how Saddam Hussein died. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Um, but then yeah, at the end of the, at the end of the trailer, it shows him just shooting off tons of bullets in guns that can't hold that many bullets. But you know, I'm sure all the gun aficionados will cry about that. But I don't care. It looks cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, unless you guys have anything else to say, that's all we've got for this trailer. Nope. We've talked about it at length now. <laughs> so um, if you guys want more Hitman trailers or anything Hitman Absolution related, we're definitely going to be doing a walk before this. I know everyone always asks our questions, asks the questions, are you going to be doing a walkthrough? Yeah. I think that goes to say if we talk about a game, we're going to be doing a walkthrough for it, more or less. Unless we don't feel so. like it. <laughs> Which is true. But um, so that's all we've got for this time, and we will see you guys in the next Hitman stuff or whatever else we feel like doing. So, bye.